No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Gotta get a gaming PC. Tired of being owned by PC players. So build one. Yeah, right. Everyone knows you can't get parts right now. I mean, GPUs are a little hard to come by, but there's plenty on the used markets, and they'll... No, no. All the tech tubers and Reddit peeps said you can't get parts right now. That's it. I mean, the 5950X is hard to find. Nope. Can't be done. Okay. Bet. Don't do that again, boomer. All right, fine. Let's start off with the Ryzen 3600. It's six cores and good for gaming, and looky there. In stock. Yeah, but what about 5000 series Ryzen? I mean, you could go with the 5600X if you want to, but AMD's been raising the prices of their processor, so it costs you about another 150 bucks, and still the 3600 is a great processor for a gaming PC. Got lucky. Fine. Motherboard, let's go B550. Uh, taking a look. Uh, MSI Mag Bazooka. Plenty of inputs. BIOS flashback, and oh yeah, available. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got the T4 Dark. 3600 megahertz, 16 gig, dual channel, of course. Okay, but that isn't everything you need. No, you're right, so let's go with some storage. How about this T-Force Kadera, one terabyte to get you started. An Ares Game PC processor, 650 watts. We'll go semi-modular here. And how about this Apivio Prodigy Black Micro ATX case that has nice RGB and great airflow in the front. Yeah, well, aren't you missing something important? Right, graphics card. Let's go with a 30, uh, I mean a 67, uh, ha! Told you. Ha! No, you idiot. We'll just go for something like a RX 570 off of eBay. It's used. It's 4 gigabytes of VRAM, but it's plenty enough to get you going. And then when the stock comes back for GPUs, like I said, we'll go ahead and we'll do an upgrade at that point. Yeah, but this stuff's old and like I don't know how to put it together. And Look, these components are still really good. And if you need help building it, check out the Pinky Tech Discord server. Link in the description below. I mean, you could run some benchmarks or something. Benchmarks? Again with the... Roll the benchmarks. I'm done with this. All right, guys, I hope you had some fun with this video. I know prices are going up because of the tariff extensions and all that good stuff. They've expired, um, but there are still parts out there. 5600X, 5800X, those have been pretty regularly in stock, although the AMD price increases haven't really been helping. Uh, but the Intel processors, the 10 series especially, they're still out there, plenty viable for gaming PCs right now. Uh, you could go 11th gen. I don't recommend the i7 and i9 11th gens, but the i5s are actually pretty okay, so I might have to take back what I said in this video up here somewhere. Um, but there's still plenty of parts out there where you can build yourself a great gaming PC for under $1,000. Yes, you're gonna have to wait on some of the higher end graphics cards, you know, Newegg Shuffle, EVGA Q system, all that good stuff. But if this video helped you out at all, or if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button, fine. Once again, you're at the end of the video, you might as well have just hit the like button. Uh, if you think I got it wrong or if in your country things are different, make sure to leave a comment down below so we can have a discussion. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video.